Hi everybody. So today I'm gonna do some tests on how much air we take out of our F1 Ultra with the stock fan. And after that, I'm going to put something gigs a large send me and we're gonna run some tests. So let's check this out. Okay, so this is uh, the kit that Geeks Alert sent me. It's a new fan, it's a very robust fan. Let me tell you that it, this fan seems really nice. It has a different hookup from the back, so you can connect the hose. And well, this is the standard hose from X2. So I'm gonna start measuring first the laser as it is. Uh, you see my area here is all the way, so you have as much air, cubic air, inside uh this is just the standard right now f1 shield nothing weird nothing special there's nothing extra at the bottom i just make sure that close as best as i can with on the back with the gap that we usually have so i just push it down to make sure it's close so we're going to be running a square that is nothing but a engraved with 1% power so it won't do anything but it will activate the fan and that's what we are going to measure so let's check this out so let's move the machine into a position that I can use for this purpose so here we are I have the screen to launch the job and I'm gonna put these things on the side for now I don't need them right the second and we're gonna use this. So currently I have this configure to feet per minute that it will give me uh, an accurate reading of how many CFM, uh, which is the volume in cubic feet per minute is coming out of the machine. So we're gonna see how much is coming out from the stock fan and how much improved with a new fan. So let's start measuring. I'm gonna send a file to my laser. You see the beep there. Start. There you go. So we're gonna put this tool here. You see the arrow indicates where the wind should go. And start it. So I'm getting 826, 846.5. I'm gonna pause it again. It's still going strong in 826. So you wanna see the numbers again? I'm gonna put a U here. So here is giving me 905. Let me turn this light on for you. 866. A little fluctuation there with a pretty consistent overall. All right. Okay, now we know how much we get straight from the source. So now we're gonna connect our tube here. And let's see what is the variation. I'm gonna extend it just a little bit. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a curve. Because we all do this. We all have these connected somewhere, normally in the window. Some loops and groups sometimes. I'm gonna make a little curve here. I'm gonna put it here. And I'm getting here 708. So I don't know if you guys can see it. Fine. So we lose about 140. All right. So let's turn this off and go with the next one. 
All right, I paused the job. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove this now. I'm going to put this on the side for now. I'm gonna turn off my machine and I'm going to remove this. So first I'm going to unscrew power. I don't wanna have problems with the power. So I'm going to unscrew this here to remove the fan. So let me get the tools. I believe this one is. Yes, sir. So here comes the first screw. I'll take this one here. We have all the screws out. We want to remove this. You see here, there is a little rubber here that goes against the fan. And we have the fan in here. And when you are going to take this out, be careful of not pulling nothing else. So just pull the little clip. So this clip has a little push here. So here's the fan. I'm going to remove this fan. So let's see where this goes. So you'll see some fans has the arrows, how and where they spin. Usually the stickers indicate the front. That means that the air flows this way. So I'm going to connect this back into the area the fat fingers problem do you have fat fingers let me put in the comments below to see how many people relate to the issue so I'm gonna put the fan here and goes inside there is the fan all right so the fan is there and it seems like i'm actually sitting over the fan cable so i'm gonna make sure that that's not happening that's better yes sir so this is the new outlet that kobe sent so with this new outlet, you're gonna gonna have to just kind of wiggle this a little bit to make sure that it fits fine. But it's just it's just a good fit, you know, with the fan especially. So one way to do this is pull the screw halfway, and you can actually put this there to make sure that doesn't move. It makes your life a a little bit easier so let's put it here there we go and at the same time when you do this probably you want to have the fun a little bit outside too <laughs> I didn't thought about it sorry for the crappy audio I'm uh, I'm having the printers running like a lot of stuff so I'm gonna put this one, two, three, and four. So there is, this is a perfect fit right out of the box. So I'm gonna screw this in. So I learned a long time ago that whatever you do with four screws, try to go and put a corner, opposite corners first to try to make it sit. Especially if you are repairing a car and you wanna make sure that everything sits properly and the gaskets work. So we have a gasket here, so we want that to happen. And after you put it on, you can tie it up, you know, and see 
how it goes. So the new fan is in. I'm gonna tie this up and I'll go here. There you go. Of course, don't over tie these screws. I mean, you don't need to over tie these. Just make sure that they are nice and seat grabbing the back. There we go. So this is installed. So this is going to count as an upgrade for your exhaust. So let's turn the machine on. There's the machine start, you see here. So this is the original. It has all these vents and these vents get a lot of gunk. Everything gets in here. All right, so we have that. There is a last project that is the one that I was using, the square. So I'm gonna redo just that. So first of all, I'm gonna start it again. And there's a air coming out. So let's start my meter first. It's still some feet per minute. So we were at 800, now we are in 2000. this camera here there is a hose let's extend this all right and let's see let's grab it properly so 1500 Not bad at all This is a great upgrade for your F1 Ultra Yes, it's a little more louder But the wind speed is very consistent And if you don't choke Like I just did a quarter of this 1700 and I'm not being really good because this should be more so you are between 1700 and so so basically you are getting double the amount of extraction uh, CFM of your laser with this upgrade so it's a really simple upgrade just a couple cables that you just push in and push out a couple screws and you have a lot more uh, fume extraction from your machine that can be especially vital for you if you are working with deep embossing on coasters or coins and you want all this extra degree going this will be amazing when you use it with our air assist and it will help you to get everything out of your machine so uh thank you very much Kobe, for sending this over so we can test it and see how it goes uh i'll be putting on the descriptions below the link for this specific fan and this specific upgrade i think it's amazing you should get it no questions asked and if you want me to keep reviewing more stuff and everything else that is coming on industry uh please let me know just subscribe hit the like button put the little bell so you get the updates and don't forget fire the laser <laughs>